You're listening to the Deep Purple Podcast, a fan podcast about one of the most legendary bands of all time, Deep Purple. We take a look at the music, history, and people behind the band Deep Purple and beyond. All right, folks, here we go. This is the Deep Purple Visual History by Chris Charlesworth. There's an update to his um, book from the 80s, where he encapsulates the history of Deep Purple leading up through 1976. This is the standard edition. Uh, this is from Rufus Publishing. Incredible book. Um, so let's slide out here. Let's see the great detail on this cover. Really nice work. Looks beautiful. You've got all the members of the band from 68 through 76. Back cover is a famous calamitous scene from one of the shows. Um, opening the book up, we've got some really great caricatures, drawings of the members of the band. You've got the visual history. This is the introduction to the 2023 edition. These books went for pre-order um, in December of 2022, and we just received them in January of 2024. They were originally supposed to come, I think, the, pre uh, the April of 2023, uh, but they had some delays uh, because they were adding a bunch of new stuff to the book, which was really exciting. Um, so they have, uh, there's another version of this too, that has autographs from the band members and things like that, which I maybe we'll get to in another video. Uh, but here you have a little bit of a foreword by Chris Charlesworth that he wrote in October as he was wrapping up the book in 2022. Um, talks about how in the early 80s he was commissioned um, by Omnibus to write that original book. So you see some great pictures, um, early, early history here, starting really early in this in 66. The early incarnation of the band, that's uh, Chris Curtis, who uh, started the band up um, and kind of is basically a footnote in history of Deep Purple. Um, we've got some introductions to all the different members. So we start with Nick Simper, nice little quote by Nick, and we can, uh, his, he's actually autographed the uh, the other copy of this, so if you're interested in that, maybe I can get a picture of that one or a uh, review of that one to come. Um, so we get some great stuff. You go on to John Lord. Um, you can kind of feel for the the breaks here, Richie Blackmore. Um, so you've got some really, really nice pictures as it goes through all the individual members of the band. Um, some really great pictures that, you know, looking at these pictures all day, every day, of the band um, pictures that I certainly have never seen before. Um, I'm sure some have, but they're definitely not in the regular uh, pictures that are that are circulating around. You've got this picture here, which appears to be um, John Coletta and Tony Edwards. I believe that's Tony Edwards. Hard doing this upside down. <laughs> um, you've got some really great stuff. Here's a little write up from Cashbox. Um, really, really great pictures, a really famous picture of Ian Gillen, um, starting, going all the way back to Ian Gillen to May of 1965, so a little bit of rundown. So once you get through all of those, you know, biographies there, then you start going through, um, some of the, the studio recordings, live concerts, um, again, all of this with great, great, great pictures. This whole book is... 520 pages, so it's just incredible, um, and it's heavy. This this uh, seven and a half kilograms, I think, for just this uh, this. One. Oh no, maybe this one's a little bit lighter than the other one. Um, another uh, great picture, really uh, famous one that's circulated for years, but I don't think I've ever seen it in that great resolution before. Um, as we go through the Mark II stuff, um, then we've got the looks like the very end there, the Osaka picture. Um, this one's a little bit more, um, it looks like they've blown this up to the absolute maximum as it's going on two pages there. It's a like very, you know, it's a little bit grainy. There's a little noise from the enlargement, but, um, but it's just a really, really great picture. Um, I love these little, there's a lot of 
this cool motif going on throughout. These are pictures that were taken on May 30th, 1973. Uh, those great camera strips, looks like the covers of, cover of uh, Wizards Convention there. All those great, great photos. Um, we've, then we've got, um, I think that's, yep. David Coverdale. So we're about, well, looks like about, just about two thirds through the book here. We've got kind of this introduction to David Coverdale. Uh, we've got some great, oh, looks like some, some of the Burn Clear Old Castle pictures there. Um, rehearsal pictures look really, really nice. Again, some you know, kind of common ones, but really, really nice resolution on these on these pictures. <laughs> There's a great one of uh, <laughs> of Ian and David Coverdale. Um, his usual usual uh, sense of humor, and then there he is, with the deep purple jet with the thumbs up, but having kind of a frown on his face. Maybe he's just squinting from the sun. Some great early performance pictures of the Mark III lineup there. Great pictures of Coverdale Live, and these pictures are really, really good quality too. Um, all of them are. This looks like this might be California Jam, it's hard to say. Um, we've got, what else do we have here? Um, sad um, picture of Patsy Collins and the, a uh, um, little bit from this lineup of the band, but showing um, when he was, um, uh, when, he, when he unfortunately lost his life. Great, nice like montage pictures here. Um, all of these newspaper articles, nice little montage of all these various, um, various newspaper clippings. And uh, here we go as we get towards the very end. Introdu introduction of Tommy Bolin there, with the famous Tommy picture. And then, you know, both of them are pretty famous pictures. The, the um, shirt he's wearing for the Come Taste the Band rehearsals. And then what else we got? The famous Johnny Cash. What else do we got here? He's talking about Spectrum in this one. It's fa the famous uh, Mork from Orc photo shoot here with uh, Coverdale and Hughes. And what else do we got? Uh, <laughs> another great one. I don't know. There's something about the way that John Lord looks in this picture that I've never really seen him have that look before, but um, really, really great. Um, high quality stuff. So we get to the end here, then we even go, we see a little bit of the kind of post Deep Purple, kind of like what you missed since the last book. We've got a little, you know, remembrance of, of um, John Lord here. We have a little picture from Blackmore's Night. And uh, what else do we have? We have um, Will Gillen, Ray Fennick, and uh, the band. Um, and then what else do we to close this out, we have this like uh, discography of all the albums and the release dates. Really, really cool stuff. And I think it ends with the shows, right? Is it, uh, yeah, here we go. All the shows, a little list of all the shows that were played, which is great. This great website that kind of catalogs this as well, which is searchable. But this one kind of runs down all the different shows, I think, through the... Uh, even says fee if known, so it shows you how much the band made for that particular show, uh, which is kind of cool to look at when you go from, um, you know, such a wide variety here. They are playing with Fleetwood Mac and Rory Gallagher, the band, in 1973. They made $3,000 the first night and $11,000 the second night. Not sure how they calculated that. Then they did two nights in Madison Square Garden with Rory Gallagher for $10,000 total, it looks like, so... It's really cool stuff, and I think this just goes yet through the end of 1976. Final show before the initial breakup, and they made uh, 2,900 pounds at the Liverpool Empire Theatre playing with straps. Um, so really, really cool book. Um, if you're a fan of Deep Purple at all, you got to pick this one up. The, uh, the other version, uh, the more expensive version, does have the, the, the autographs. It has a bunch of uh, little uh, individual tour book reprints. It's got a holographic cover, really, really cool. So you'll want to check that one out too. Uh, but if you're looking to just um, get a really great book that you can have around, look at some really, really great pictures, this is a great place to start. The other one does have some more bells and whistles with, again, it's a numbered copy. You've got the autographs, you've got all of that stuff. 
Um, but if you're really looking for it for the, you know, for the reading purposes or something, can't recommend this one enough. The guys at Weimer put together some, or um, I'm sorry, the guys at Rufus um, uh, put together some amazing, amazing books. And so do the guys at Weimer. Um, so yeah, check it out. Really, really cool book. And uh, make sure to pick yourself up a copy. Thank you for listening to the Deep Purple Podcast. If you like what you hear and would like more episodes in the future, please donate on Patreon to support the show. You can also leave us a review in Apple Podcasts to help new people discover the show. You can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for show updates. See deeppurplepodcast.com for more details. Thank you for listening.